no, oh, no, oh, 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 oh. Professor, Dr. Professor. Lead the way, Calhoun. Please come along with me. Well, I hope the old security system is still active. With any luck, my fingerprint ID is still valid and on file. Why wouldn't it be, dude? Why wouldn't it be? Anyway. to piece together some of the larger equipment, but you'll need to oversee the rest of the construction. Excellent, Walter. Finish aligning the power cell matrix, and I'll see if I can get the system online in the main room. Now, there's no time to waste. There's no time to waste, Dr. Professor Patrick. We have to fix a battery of all things. Unfortunately, this older technology does not have the ability to target an Earth destination in its current state. You see, Mr. Calhoun, teleportation isn't as easy as going from point A to point B. We discovered a strange border world that was somehow involved in the process, which kept us from accurately predicting where any given teleportation event would lead to back on Earth. Neat. Some of the more promising research on the matter led to a device that could be attached to the strange crystalline structures we found on this border world. Now this device could then be used as a focal point and a relay to aid in the teleportation. Well, in theory, that is. This is... ...contact with the survey group shortly after the device was in place. We later discovered other methods of aiming the field, but all of the equipment in this lab uses the older technology. In order for any of us to get out of here alive, Someone will have to go to the border world and activate the device. I'm afraid you're the only one who can do this, seeing as how everyone else will be needed to operate the equipment. We should be able to get you fairly close to where the survey team had set up, but I fear the likelihood of running into alien creatures is very high. Once you find the device, simply power it on and align the emitters until the signal reaches maximum strength. We'll reopen the teleporter for your return once we receive the signal, but you must hurry back, as we can only keep it open for a short amount of time. All right, I'm going to initiate the teleporter charging sequence now. Be ready, Mr. Calhoun. Once the field is open, oh, we're doing this. Unstable very quickly. Oh, we're doing this before the battery. Okay. I don't know why they made this super long sequence. It's just kind of boring, and it takes a while. Even in Half-Life 2, they kind of speed through it. Even in Half-Life, you just kind of... You don't sit around listening to science happen. You just kind of move on. This is not a relevant plot point. No one gives a crap. Just let me video game already. I'm a gamer. You won't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> One cinnamon toast crunch, two cinnamon toast crunch, three cinnamon toast crunch, four cinnamon toast crunch, five cinnamon toast crunch, six cinnamon toast crunch! This is staying forever. I'm bored. Why are you sending me to fight aliens? I'm a security guard! Oh well. That's so doom. Release the logs! Focal point. Get out of my way, pretty woman. You're very pretty. Oh, we got the usual healing pool. Again, this feels a lot like you're supposed to know the context of the original game for any of this to make sense. This section is bad. This is a section that's just like super long. It doesn't really go anywhere. It doesn't do anything. Like. When people say, when people say Blue Shift is just more Half-Life, they mean it in the most derogatory fashion possible. It's just more Half-Life. Have you played Half-Life? All right, well, here's another level, I guess. I mean, it's kind of interesting lore, but I think it's all non-canon nowadays. I hope you like fucking headcrabs that are hiding around corners. 
Because that's like 90 freaking percent of this dungeon. I hope you brought your dungeoneering kit, Jack. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. I'm gonna sneeze. Dirty deeds done quick. With your boy, Safi Crook, having a sneeze. This reminds me of a sequence in uh, Jedi Outcast. And in a way, that Duke Nukem game for the N64 Zero Hour. You're in a dark, cramped space. Although in Duke Nukem, it was a. Th Why is the music being so tense? I'm in a hole in the ground. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. I think I actually want to go this way. Oh yeah, I can't. That's what that was. What was this way? Thrilling gameplay. I mean, it's neat that they detailed that area. At all, that's kind of neat. And hey, you can technically do this for free as far as you want, since there's a little Healy pool right here, so who cares? Ah, yes, this section. This god awful section is just so bad. Because it's. Hey, do you want to jump from a rock to a rock? And exciting, enthralling gameplay! Fucking demystifying. I think there's one more guy over there, but we'll fuck him. Video gamesmanship. Truly cosmofying. I mean, this might be impressive if, like, you never played Half Life 1. I don't know. But in what context have you played Half Life 1? But not like how do you get here? Why are you buying buying blue shift? No one buys blue shift as their first experience. Unless your 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 grandmother bought it for you. And by the time you're playing this, it's like, oh great. It's everything I always wanted in life. Landing in a pile of goo. 
with your boy Safi Crook in the heist. Ow, dude, cut it out! This is why no one likes you and you don't appear in a sequel. Want to get in the sequel? Huh? Huh? You want? You want to be some sequel material? Then patch up that job, man. Put on your in game. Maybe, 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 maybe try out for that uh, Chex Quest game. They made a, they made a Redux for it recently. I don't know why. I don't know who. I don't know where or when. But someone paid for it. Anyway, the objective isn't exactly clear. We're supposed to go up the, the the next chunky chunky chocolate waterfall. Question, where the hell does all the slime come from? It goes down in both directions. Down the chunky saucer fall. Down the chunky saucer fall. Wee. Bad motif. Down the chunky sa down the chunky saucer fall. Down the chunky saucer fall. Down the chunky saucer fall. We go. Are we gonna fight? I remember that we fight some of those sky babies at some point. I don't care what they're actually called. They're sky babies. They're babies that fly in the air. Just like you and me. I'm a sky baby. Sky baby. Sky baby. Boop, boop. Ah, uh, yes! Computer Piters! Huh. This area gets blown up later. I don't know why it's accessible right now. That's kind of weird. That's just strange! Oh, look! The problem was that someone had pushed the off- Why did s Who came to this plane of existence and went, I'm just gonna show up just to push the off button? Or was it the aliens? We can't blame the aliens for everything. It's a nice, big button. They're gonna push it. Jesus Christ, you people are insufferable. I just got a twist of dials. Ugh. You gotta spin that dial, maybe you'll get lucky. You've got to spin that dial, it's set to a sine wave. Technically, two sine waves. That is either texture or set text. It's hard to tell which. In this modern day and age, it can be hard to tell the technologies that make our lives possible. I personally like to claim that these are sky babies. Get out of the sky, baby! It is dangerous up there! Baby! Get out of the sky! Is it... Is, is it working? Am I done? I think I'm done. Sky babies! Jerk. Everything here sounds weird. Like, it's very springy. Echoey? Not quite echoey. I like that Bar Barney is just like, Yeah, this is video games. Guess I'm gonna have to shoot some sky babies. So how do I intend on my fucking holiday to go? Get out of here, Sky Baby! God. Don't you dare. I just want my magnum bolts. Cause I'm a goofy goober, yeah. You're a goofy goober, yeah. 
We're all goofy goobers here. Why are there so many of you? I guess I guess Gordon Freeman hasn't done his part of the work yet. Gordon Freeman, get on that alien! Is that big thing even cannon? I'd love to stick around. Get a snack bar, chicken, some Ross beef. Jesus Christ, don't be so picky. You got a nice gate there. For putting in the legwork. I'd, I'd like super, super duper appreciate it if, if you like let me get out. There's, there's armor over there. Get out of here! That was because I'm a jerk. That one's because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Open Sesame Street. Can I go back to before I picked that up? Because I kind of want to hold on to those things for later. Or at least the body armor. That's a lot of armor to just throw away. Good job, moron! They do this trick twice, by the way. Oh wow, the fire actually hurts me! <laughs> That's such a dumb trick! Can they flatten me with the door? Please tell me they can flatten me with the door! Ow! Ooh! Ooh! Spicy! That's one spicy torch. Just kick it and I'm ready to be flat. Yeah! I can't believe I fucking died being an asshole. Great. This video game is amazing. I mean, it doesn't fly. It just falls open. I'm just like, I'm an idiot. Like I said... This one. So, I don't think it's ever explained how these asshats are here. But they sure are. 
Why are they in this? I mean, they're here to clean up, yes, but... The how escapes me is the problem. I don't know why this door exists. It just does. You can't just stop a grenade. You can't just catch a grenade for my... For me. Why? Why? Why are these useless, needless toys and gimmicks? Would you catch a grenade for ya? Would you jump in front of a train for ya? Why, w why would jumping in front of a train help anyone? That's the real question. Ah! 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 Dumbasses. Whoop! Just fucking s slide over there, baby. Oh, get out of here, man! Your last week's news, baby! Jump in front of a train! I'd get some lunch for you, may, maybe. I might buy you a Coke if it's not too expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why does this. Why is the physics engine like this? Is this a frame rate thing? Or is it just that they actually were that stupid about it? I must know, Valve. There is an answer, and I demand it. If you aren't Valve, but you still have a technically competent answer, I don't care. You're not Valve. You're not the first source. You're, you might be spouting lies in my ears. Now, if someone from Valve... Because you can't impersonate people. It's illegal to pretend to impersonate someone. Also illegal is going this far without actually explaining what I'm trying to do. Uh, because you'll see. Your eyes can tell what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, die. Die, die. You know, not to be, not to be too critical, but... I fear battle tactic would, like, hugely benefit from... Not teleporting in places where you don't have an advantage. Not to shit on your breakfast or anything, but... You know, I would like to see an achievement where it's like, do a pistol run. It's not completely unreasonable. Gosh, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'm not made of infinity time. Would I jump in front of a coolant for ya? No, no, no. No, no, no. I 
I might get you some shredded cheese, but only cheddar, cause I don't like peppercorn for ya. I solve the mystery! I've tried everything, but it won't let me load. <laughs> Every one of my save files now crashes. Uh, I, I, I can try the last one, but I think... I think... So, this happened on my other playthrough, too. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. The game is just extremely weird about this. So, <sighs> what? I, uh, if, 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 if I can't fix this, you'll see this. What happens is you, you fix the battery, send it up, and they go on. They're like, oh, we're gonna, I'm going to go through. And then the other guy goes. And then the last guy's like, I'll program it to send you through. You'll have to go last. And they go through last. And they get this weird fake out where you teleport around. And you see Gordon Freeman getting dragged away. And then you reappear. It's like, we can fix the car. We're going to drive out of here. And I'm like, <sighs> what a terrible ending. Well, let's hope opposing forces better. <laughs>